Hi everyone, this is Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm here to do a recommendation video talking about some of my all-time favorite science fiction novellas. If some of you are here normally for my horror content, don't worry, I have some good crossovers with some books that definitely lean into the side of horror. I also think I have a good variety here, some books that are set in your future, some that are set in space. All that being said, let's get started. First, I want to recommend Final Girls by Myra Grant, which I feel like is one of her books that doesn't get enough attention online. This follows a medical team that design a form of psychotherapy that involves taking the victims of various trauma and running them through a virtual reality simulation that is intended to help them to work through their troubles and become stronger by working together and overcoming the obstacles. However, these simulations are basically like going through and playing through a horror movie and so these people become the survivors or in the case of the women that we follow the final girls at the end of the story. I will say that this book is definitely science fiction. It's really not scary but as you can tell from that synopsis it is the kind of book that will definitely appeal to those of you like myself that enjoy some horror and it's very meta, very self-aware and just takes a really good twist on the idea of the final girls. So definitely one I would recommend. Next, I want to recommend The Test by Sylvain Neuvelt. This is set in a near future where there is a man who is trying to immigrate to a new country with his family. In order to do so, he needs to complete a immigration test. At the beginning, it seems quite ordinary with him just answering questions about the country he is immigrating to. However, early on, something happens and the story takes a sharp turn. And I don't want to say more because it's very much a book that you want to experience for yourself, especially because it's one of the shortest novellas on this list but I will tease you a little bit by letting you know that this is the kind of book that I would encourage you to read if you're a fan of TV shows like Black Mirror because it's definitely very sci-fi in a dystopian way and was just a really unique story to check out. Now for those of you that love stories about artificial intelligence as much as I do, I want to recommend An Unnatural Life by Aaron K. Wagner. This is set in a future where artificial intelligence have just received some legal rights and it particularly follows an AI that has just been accused of murdering a human and so the story is told from the perspective of an attorney that is trying to get them an appeal and as you would expect with stories involving AI this deals with a lot of questions about personhood, identity, legal rights and so forth and I really enjoyed the parts involving the legal proceedings. This book is more serious in tone and and is definitely a darker story than some of the other ones I'm going to mention here, but it's very compelling and again for anyone who really likes reading about those themes, it's definitely the next one you should be checking out. And if I'm going to make a list like this, I have to include one of my favorites and that is To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. This is set in a future where a group of scientific explorers are sent out to go and visit different planets. In this future, instead of terraforming planets to meet biological needs, of humans. Instead, people change their own bodies in order to adapt to the planets that they are visiting. This book is one that I would describe as a love letter to science and exploration, and it's very optimistic as you would expect from Becky Chambers, but at the same time it's a little more balanced than her Wayfarer series, and it has some incredible diverse character work as you would expect from her. But I also like that it involves some hard science. You do get to learn a lot about biology and a little bit about space exploration, but it's done in a way that's really accessible so if you were like me and don't have a background in science this one is easy to understand because the author really takes the time to explain everything in simple terms and I just found it fascinating to learn more about these concepts and it was just such a powerful story packed into just a few pages so definitely another one to check out. Next is one that I feel like I'm constantly recommending on my channel but is for a good reason and that is The Ghost Line by Andrew Neil Gray and J.S. Herbison. This follows a group of salvengers, particularly a married man and woman, that go onto a ship that should be abandoned. However, once they get on there and start looking for parts, they wonder if something or someone is watching them. This is one that I always describe as a haunted house story set in space so it definitely has appeal for those of you that are looking for a little bit of horror in your 
your science fiction. It's really not scary, but I did find it to be very atmospheric and haunting. And what I love so much about it was the representation of that married couple because I found it to be very realistic and generally just a positive representation, which isn't something I always get in the fiction that I tend to pick up. This book is written by a married couple themselves, and so I think they brought their own relationship into the story. And it's just one I would love to see more people checking out because while I continue to gush about it online, I don't see a lot of other channels talking about it as much. Now, I can't do a video recommending science fiction novellas without talking about the booktube darling that is All Systems Red by Martha Wells. This is the first book in the Murderbot series and follows a non-gendered artificial construct that is designed to protect and work security for the humans that they are protecting. However, they have actually hacked their own programming because you find out that they don't really want to hurt anyone. Instead, they would rather just avoid doing their job and sit around and watch TV. I think that this character is incredibly quirky and also very relatable. And for a lot of people, including myself, I definitely think the character of Murderbot is the reason to pick up this book. So if you have not yet read it, I definitely recommend checking it out for yourself. Now, I also want to recommend Villagence by Robert Jackson Bennett, which is a sci-fi dystopian set in a near-future America where there is a reality TV show where people are selected to be shooters that go out and basically shoot up people in a public space. The concept behind this reality TV show is that people are expected to be vigilant, so they expect the public to be armed and to know how to use the guns that they are carrying. And so the show follows the shooter and watches the public react and try to shoot down the person that is attacking them. This book, as you can probably tell from that synopsis, is a huge commentary on the current laws in America around gun control and the author definitely has some strong opinions on the topic and so I would caution you to pick up this book only if you share those opinions or are open to reading a book about those ideas because it's very heavy-handed how it's used but if you share those opinions or just want to see a really heavy-handed commentary on the topic this is definitely one to check out. This is another one that I would recommend for those of you that like the TV show Black Mirror because it definitely gave me similar vibes. And last but certainly not least, I want to recommend one of my favorite novellas, and that is Finna by Nino Sapri. This follows a group of employees working in a Scandinavian furniture store that kind of sounds like Ikea, but it's technically not. In this store, there's a woman that goes missing, and so the owners of the store explain that this woman has most likely wandered into another portal because you find out that all of these furniture stores are connected by multiverse portals portals and so the underpaid employees are sent to go and find her. The story is told from the perspective of a young person who has recently broken up with their other partner and you get to see the aftermath of the relationship. Their partner is actually non-binary so you have a lot of representation of different gender identity talked about in the story which I thought was very interesting. I really like that this is a science fiction story with elements of horror because not all the realities that that they go to are necessarily as nice as ours. So there's definitely some monstrous creatures waiting for them. And that just made for a really fun reading experience. At the same time, as I mentioned, this book does deal with a lot of gender issues and actually has a lot of heart by the end of the story. So this one surprised me. It's a fun story, but it also has a lot of substance to it and definitely one I would recommend for more people to check out. So that is it for this video. Let me know down below of the books I mentioned, which ones are you most interested in checking out? And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you want me to do another one like this because I think it'd be fun to put together another list once I've read some more sci-fi novellas that I would recommend. If you're new here, I do read a lot of science fiction as well as horror, thrillers, and some fantasy. And I would love for you to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.